Hi everyone, Turtle here coming at you with another Pokemon opening. We are a week away from Rebel Clash. I'm super excited, but we don't have any Rebel Clash to open. So we're going back to old, reliable, old, faithful, hidden fates. And we have all three tins, which means we have a total of 12 packs. Definitely our favorite set on this channel. And probably the one that we open the most. I think this one really will stand the test of time and just be a really good set for you know, down, years down the road we'll still be opening this hopefully maybe it'll even be out of print but who knows and there are a lot more of these tins i predict on roots actually a couple people have been saying in the discord that they are seeing them again and like target and stuff so and again it wouldn't surprise me if you see this in stores i mean you still see xy etbs so hidden fates if anything i would imagine just be printed longer than anything but oh so i do have a you're going through a bit of a quarantine troubles some quarantine woes as we just lost internet connection it does appear that our isp rc hen is ha does have some outages and we are affected by that so currently we do not have internet which is kind of left us like oh what do we do but, all right, we got all the tins opened, got all the promos out. The really cool Charizard with that four energy GX attack for 300 damage. All right, definitely the most used card out of the set. And we got 12 packs. It's over here, and let's get into this. Can we find Charizard number three for the channel? Feel like our previous hidden fates openings have been they've been pretty successful but uh not hitting like super great shiny gx's that would i would say that's where we have underperformed in our last few openings although we did get a a gold of course tapu bulu we always pull tapu bulu I think it's like five Bulu, the one Coco, and that's it. No Feenies, no Leles. I think uh, if I could pick a hit other than Charizard, I think it would be the Shiny Umbreon. Definitely that one is super popular. And as of our latest Pokemon episode, there were no Umbreons on TCG Player, which I found very interesting. Ah, Vaporeon, always pulling Vaporeons. And we did get our first somewhat of a hit reverse energy but yes hopefully uh, sometime next week we can crack open a booster box of rebel clash we're gonna have to play it by ear see what we can get our hands on worst case scenario we'll have something on friday but given that i think the packs go live on the online game thursday Hopefully we can do something by then. That way we can actually do some pack giveaways on our Twitch channel. Uh, just twitch.tv slash I want a turtle. And we did get a shiny wimp pod and I can feel the texture. So this is the very textured version. So pretty good hit right there. And yeah, is that already one of the tins worth? Let's get a shiny GX. We've been doing too hot in that regard. All right, let's see how we can do. Giovanni. Ooh, speaking of Giovanni, that's going to be what we're searching for in Rebel Clash, that boss's orders. Okay. Ooh, we got the birds. Shoutouts to Nampi. Said that the, the regular art birds won their content. Oh, wow. What an amazing pack. We got a Dark Ride GX. That's actually a usable card for Turbo Dark decks. So, very nice pack. And yeah, the regular art birds. There we go. All right, so we did get a shiny GX. All right, let's uh, let's keep this heat going. Jinx, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, and then just a Arbuck for the rare. Okay, another reverse energy. Let's see, let's kind of move some of these piles. We we don't need these on the screen at all. But I do have a question for everybody in general. 
Uh, based on you know all the stuff that's going on around going on around the world, I'm curious how that if if has any effect on how much um, kind of like of the new set Rebel Clash people are picking up. Kind of asked this during the Twitch stream, and it de definitely seemed like you know people aren't getting more. A couple people it's no effect. Uh, probably that's the predominant answer. But a couple people said like yeah you know I got less because. I don't need the cards right now. Maybe when the live events start coming back, maybe then we'll do it. And by that time, maybe I'll just pick them up on the secondary market. So I'm curious for you, what, as a result of everything going on, how has that affected your purchasing patterns regarding the new set coming out? Let me know in a comment down below. Okay, let's see. We got a Jolteon. Okay, we got another shiny. Oh, that's very interesting. So maybe these tins were from different ways, but you can see this is the ultra glossy one versus this Wimpod, which is the ultra textured one. All right, so let's see how we're doing. Six hits out of three. Oh, five hits. Five hits plus two, two reverse energies. Actually, that's about where we... One more, and that's basically 50% as we do have 12 packs. So, so far we're doing pretty good. No super good hits but just doing well on the ratio sides which again has been kind of the the summary of our most more recent hidden fates openings and all right we got one tins worth left as long as we don't get shut out here this will be another successful hidden fates opening and once again, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the uh, YouTube subscribers as well as the Twitch subscribers. But uh, YouTube, we're getting close to, I think we're just about at that 970 mark. So the final charge to that 1K sub, probably an awesome accomplishment. A huge milestone for the channel. So huge thank you to everyone that, um, that has supported us. Especially a huge shout out to everyone Kind of like the, if you remember what sub number you are, <laughs> you know, anyone that's like low, low hundreds or lower, it's double digits. Thank you so much for your continued support. We got a full art birds to go with our regular and oh my gosh, another really loaded pack. Got a shiny magneton. This is the textured one and a full art birds. Can we even fit all this on the screen? Yeah, you know, when you only have 12 packs and there's not enough room to show all the hits, that's when you know you have a good opening. All right, there's only one form of birds left. That would be really cool to find all of them. Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee. We got a Weezing. And then, oh my gosh, another Shiny GX. Okay, this is a really good opening. Nihilego. Uh... Kind of off-centered, a lot of extra, yeah, actually you can tell from here too, pretty off-centered. So definitely wouldn't fetch a 10, but we will definitely take it. So how are we doing right now? One, two, basically we have eight hits, two reverse energy out of 12 packs. So definitely very good opening. And can we get any last pack magic to wrap up this video? Eevee, Clefairy, a Psyduck, whoa, that was a Ekans, <laughs> last, last rare is a Arbuck, so once again, thank you guys all for watching, if you do enjoy the video, definitely a like, and Giovanni's Exile to wrap things up, but very strong opening, two birds, uh, just one regular GX, which I'm really happy about, three shinies, and two shiny GX, for two energy, so... That's going to be it for me today. As always, guys, hope you have a good weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.